President Muhammad Buhari has advised Nigerian youths to stay and advance the cost of their motherland. And Omoyele Shawari, convener of Hashtag Revolution Now Protest, seems to be going deeper in the mud that is his incarceration, as he has been linked to Boko Haram, the Shiite movement, and even IPOB. What else is new? This is Plus Politics, and I am Mary Anna Cohn. Amidst all of the issues and challenges Nigeria is currently facing, and after referring to the Nigerian youth as lazy, the President, Muhammad Buhari, has advised Nigerian youth to stay in the country in order to advance the course of their nation. Is it okay for the President to ask people to, who still have their lives ahead of them to stay in the country where, you know, they're complaining as being used as thugs by powerful politicians? Anyway, there's, there's a lot to talk about, but joining me to have this conversation, I have... Um, I'm sorry. Uh, we have Dotson Hassan. He's a legal practitioner. I almost called you somebody else's name. It's good to have you join us in the it's studio. It's a pleasure to be here. So, um, you belong to very a lot of young people's associations. You represent the some youth associations yeah. in Nigeria. Um, I'm wondering, maybe Mr. President is directing this at young people like you, um, because. We have the not too young to run bill that was signed into law. A lot of young people wanted to run. They had the opportunity. And I'm wondering, yes, there are a lot of people who are going out of the country because they feel like it's very tough for them here and they might find greener pastures. But do you think that Mr. President probably has a point here saying, stay and develop your own. Look inwards and see what you can do for your country. Well, I think um, it's just a mix uh bag of uh, issues when you look at this country and somehow you begin to wonder uh, who is really at, uh, you know, against this country. Because it comes to fall when her leaders just believe that uh, at the side of their bed, whichever side they wake up every day or each day, they must just, you know, you know spill out anything that comes out from there mood or breathing through their mind and they just believe anything they say should be nationalized. Such statement to me are, are ultimately ridiculous at this point in time. Why is it Why? ridiculous? Because they, 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 you, you, you give what you have. You can't give what you don't have. The, the, the leadership of this country have not in any way provide that enabling environment for survival. Really? They, and, and well, they would tell you, you that... You can look at the they've indicators been having, that they, they would tell you. Governments, the, the, previous governments the, the, to these governments the, the, would tell the, you that the they've had that empowerment the, programs the, the, that would help those, young all people. All those are cosmetic In fact, they have recently... Cronies. In fact, and I'm not in any way trying to, you know, help the government out here, but I have to play the devil's advocate. The Senate recently has said that they, they've come up with a very, what they think is a novel idea, to pay young people who don't have jobs much you know, stipends they, 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 no, let to me keep tell you them going. This is that not help no, enough? No, These stipends need not even come up in issue from the National Assembly. This is, these are one of the first time promises of this administration to, to pay um, support uh, uh, grant for the unemployed youths of this country, 5,000 there. I think they even pegged it at 5,000 there. But today, that becomes an uh, un, un, unattainable um, tax. And now, the National Assembly playing by that. You should know, once you don't even have indicators of who are really in need of what you want to give, it becomes aimless. So I have a question. As, I have as, a question, Dr. Okay. I'm sorry to speak over you. No problem. I should have asked this question first. Who is the youth in Nigeria? Because I'll tell you why I'm asking. The, in our political parties in this country, youth leaders are age 60 and 56, so they're about. So who is a youth in Nigeria? Who's a young well, person? You know, it's, it's, it's a relative question when you look at the uh, uh, reasoning and chemistry when you talk about our uh, fist to power, our consciousness to, to um, personal self-aggrandizement, and these are really enjoined to the fact that you cannot even depreciate, um, differentiate who is a youth as far as the country is concerned. Yes, in an average society, a youth end at 40, 45, but 
Yeah, we, at yes, 45, well, you're yeah, not no, no, a no, young I'm, person I'm coming, This is Africa. Let me tell you something. What? Oh, what, I'm no, sorry. Yeah. Africa has a different yeah. <laughs> Let me tell age you. for young we, people. We have to look at the context of our thinking. If I'll come here and tell you, oh, an average youth is from 16 to age 35 and all that, we will, we will still be thinking, uh, let us stay the, in, the, you know, in, the, in the way we are. As far as the country is right now, you might be looking at it from the hand that, oh, okay, how can we now be tagging a youth to be 45? Because an average youth of that 30 that ought to be self-independent are still dependent. But it doesn't well, change listen, the fact listen, that when listen. you're 45, you're no longer Let me tell a youth. You, the reality because you've be not been able to. Have, uh, no, no, no. I, I think we need to make this clear okay. because you've not been able to leave your dreams or accomplish certain things doesn't mean that you're young. No, let me tell you. The reality is that I'm only giving you this indicator not to um, be too um, over-sensationalized about, oh, yes, youth must end at age 30 and not too young to run and every other thing. But this country have not been able to provide that indicator platform. Even as far as the nation is concerned, where's our census? How, how, how many are we? Does the government even know the average number of an average child births from age zero to five? What is the population? Well, the birth, we our birth and death rate is actually in question. We'll take a short break. Dr. Hassan is still here in the studio. Our next guest is going to join us. We're still looking at Mr. President asking young people in Nigeria not to go anywhere for greener pastures, but to look within to see how we can build our own country. Is that too much to ask or is that uh, a bit too much <laughs> to really ask. We'll be back after the break. Stay with us. <laughs> 